Right then, welcome to the Diamond Wild West Ranch. This is looking sweet. I've been invited here by some of my cowboy friends. Just to go over here. Hey, how's it going, dude? Clay the barman. I just wanna just wanna get a bit of a, bit of a drink in here. Is that okay? Just push the button, you say. Oh yes, that looks that looks tasty. Let me just drink this up. Oh god. Yeah, I shouldn't I shouldn't really have drunk that, should I? Clay, you're a bad man, a bad influence. But hey, let's go shoot some guns. Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Flintlock Weapons mod which adds in a whole host of western style weapons into your Minecraft game. Now all of these are very well implemented and made and I feel they actually fit quite nicely into your world as in they're not too overpowered and they're actually pretty cool. So let's start by looking at some crafting recipes first. Now over here there are the four key recipes behind every gun in this mod. They're fairly simple to understand and they just create different parts of guns that you're going to need. For example, the first one is the gun barrel, it's like a little silver rod, and you're going to need three pieces of iron to create it, and then you're going to need the large gun barrel, which is for the larger guns, as you would expect, and you're going to need seven different irons for those, iron ingots that is, to make the large gun barrel, and then for the flintlock mechanism, you're going, this is kind of like the thing with the trigger and the bit that kind of fires out the ammo, and you're going to need five different bits of iron ingots, and then you're going to need a piece of flint in this pattern here to make the flintlock mechanism, and then we move on to the final bit, which is the revolver cylinder. Now this one is only used in the revolver kind of style of guns as you would expect and you need six of the original rods, I can't remember what they're called, the gun barrels. You need six gun barrels and two iron ingots to create this. Now these are all of the four kind of key components plus some wood that you're going to need to make some guns and we'll look at some recipes for those later but you're also going to need some ammo. So for future reference you're going to need some gunpowder and this is actually craftable in this mod. You're actually going to need five different bits of coal to make ten bits of gunpowder. So that's actually like a fair a fair kind of trade-off I feel that's pretty good and you can only use it with coal and not charcoal just as an extra note you can also make some pebbles for ammo and you need just one piece of gravel in a crafting table to create that and then you need round shots and for that you need just four iron ingots will give you 16 rounds so that is really really nice and then you've got the buckshot which is used for like two of the guns I think in this mod you need paper one round shot and a string to make one buckshot but it's definitely worth it and there's one more in here which is the cannonball and that is for the last gun in this mod which is awesome you're going to need two iron ingots and three gunpowder to create four cannonballs so it's actually a fair trade-off they're all fair recipes and really awesome too so now we move on to our lineup of guns and we're going to begin over here with the makeshift gun so this is the weakest gun out of the more it has a short range and doesn't really um, do too much damage and we're going to look at how to craft it now this mod actually has a really unique way of um, working out ammo and um, charging up your guns basically so you when you make your pistol it'll be unloaded as you can see from the brackets on the right hand side and to craft this particular one you need one smooth stone two planks and then you need a piece of flint as well to create the makeshift pistol which is unloaded now to load it you need to go into your craft crafting table or into your little crafting grid as a normal thing so normally it would be here your little 4x4 crafting grid so you can reload on the go and you need one pebble one gunpowder and your unloaded gun to create the loaded pistol now this one only has a single shot in it which so it's not going to be too good and then we're just going to get a pig in here and show you what it actually does so here we go there we go. Oh my god, that is a powerful pistol. I mean, damn. <laughs> I thought it wasn't that powerful, but you know, it kind of one-shots. So I'm just going to quickly show you an example of how you can reload this. So let's quickly fly over to the crafting table, because I don't have a little grid on creative mode. And what you do is you put the unloaded gun in here, then some gunpowder. Actually, you switch them around. And then you put the pebble in as well, and it'll give you a loaded gun. So that is how you reload all of the guns in here. Some of them have different recipes and different items as well, but that is how it goes down. So I'm going to use this gun in a little bit of a, a, a bit of a face off here so we're going to introduce our first cowboy this is clint he is wearing his his perfectly white cowboy outfit and damn it's on clint Can, you look at me clint that's what i thought it's on clint so are you ready for this i think you are three two one you dead, Clint. Okay, you're not dead. You're not dead. We're just going to finish you off here. Just get get out of here, Clint. So this gun isn't too powerful. It does one-shot pigs, which makes it pretty good. And I think the further away you shoot, the um, the less powerful the shot is. Because as you can see, this is taking a lot more health to kill Clint. And you, you die, Clint. 
you die. So we're going to move on to the next gun now, which is the pistol. So this is kind of like the makeshift one, the cheapest one out of the lot, but it is still pretty good. So this one has a decent range and is very durable, so this is definitely worth making. And to make the pistol, you are going to need one flintlock mechanism, one gun barrel, and two oakwood planks to make the unloaded one. And to load it, you're going to need a round shot, one piece of gunpowder, and the unloaded pistol. And this will give you just a one-shot pistol. So now we're going to test it out on a little piggy here. Bam! Oh, this is powerful too. I love the sounds in this mod. It is really awesome. So we're going to take our gunpowder and our un an unloaded gun. Take it back over to the crafting table. So I don't know why I put it all the way over here. It's a Brit unfortunate. So let's put this in here and just show you once more how to load this thing. And this gives you the loaded gun. So we're going to we're gonna have another showdown with someone else in here. I don't know what else. I don't know who's going to appear in here. But we'll find out right now. Who is this? This is Tex, the Purple Ranger. And, and we're going to take you on, Tex. Are you seriously going to take us on? Huh? Yeah, I thought so. It's on. Three, two, one. Draw. You're dead. That one took him out in one shot. Tex is down and dead. That's what I thought about. I'm the only gunslinger in this saloon. <laughs> so let's move on to the double barreled pistol. Now this one's pretty awesome. It's less durable but it, and it can misfire as well. So hopefully I'll be able to show you that but it has more chances to shoot with one reload and this is how you make it. You are going to need the same as the normal pistol but you're going to have to create an extra flint knot mechanism, an extra wood and an extra gun barrel as well which give you the double barreled pistol and for this you're going to need one gunpowder and one round shot to charge it up as normal. I don't know why I keep saying charging. I mean reload. Reload is the word I'm looking for. So that will reload it and gives you two shots so this will give you two shots instead of one which is why it is better so as you can see i'm gonna i'm gonna set up two picks here just in case one dies so here we go one shot two shot dead lots of bacon for me so yeah that is how it works and yeah it just better it gives you two more shots and can misfire as well so we didn't show the misfire just yet but we'll be able to show you it later on what a misfire actually is so now we're going to move on to the duck foot and this one is looking awesome it's got like a kind of like a duck's foot on the end i guess and this is a scatter shot that does one to four bullets so if we open this chest here we can create it by making four flintlock mechanisms and four gun barrels in this pattern with one piece of wood and that will give us the duck foot pistol so it's actually quite expensive but is definitely worth it and to reload it you're going to need four gunpowder and four round shots to make this so this has four shots in it or i think you can reload it with as many as you like from one to four so that you have different shots and we're gonna we're gonna put two pigs in here and with one shot actually let's try three and hopefully we'll explode them all here we go all right misfired are you kidding me so that was unfortunate <laughs> but that is the misfire as you can see it each gun, as it gets better, kind of has a chance to misfire. So if you right-click, it'll just make that kind of button sound, and you won't fire anything, but it will still take your ammo. So let's try this out again. There we go. Two, ki two killed with just one shot, and it shot out four bullets at the same time. You're lucky, punk. So you're going to survive just for now, but you wait. You wait until they build the next gun. You just wait. So let's move on to the next gun. Which just so happens to be the blunderbuss. Now this is also got a scatter shot, but it has a better range than the duck foot. So let's take this one out. And to create it, you're going to need one of the large gun barrels that we saw earlier. A small gun barrel and a flint knot mechanism as well as a piece of wood to create the unloaded one. And this one will take the buck shots that we learned about earlier. To create them, you'll just have to look at the previous part of the video so that you can figure out how to make them. And you also shove two gunpowder in the slot as well to make your loaded blunderbuss. Now this has a better scatter shot apparently, so let's try this out. And a better range as well, so it's more accurate. Accurate. and do bear in mind that where you're aiming your cursor won't there won't actually be a fire a shot fired there because you know it's a scatter shot so let's try this out see how go fast it goes oh yes as you can see one was really close one was quite far away and i still managed to kill them both at the same time so a really awesome gun and let's move on to the next one because these are getting really sweet now so we've got the revolver up next and this one is very powerful and can also misfire so let's open this up and we're actually going to need a gun barrel a revolver cylinder and a flintlock mechanism to create the unloaded revolver and to load it you're going to need just the kind of normal recipe of gunpowder and a round shot and this will give us a revolver which has six rounds in it so are you ready for um, a bit more pig killing I guess so we're just gonna shoot this guy and as you can see it didn't misfire that time but we'll see if it does misfire out of these six shots we now have six shots rather than just one 
No, no misfires at all. So that's pretty cool. All the pigs died and we got our bacon. An absolute result. So I have demonstrated misfiring luckily already. And that is sweet. So that is the revolver. It's very powerful and pretty much one shots most things. So that is the revolver. And it's just better than the pistol because it gives you more shots before needing to reload. Because the reload does take time. And if you're in like a patch of zombies, then you're going to be in trouble. So moving on and we've got the musket next, which is a long range bayonet style weapon. And for this, you're going to need one flintlock mechanism, two gun barrels, an iron ingots and two oak wood planks as well or any wood i believe you're going to have the musket unloaded and for this you're going to need two gunpowder and the round shot and obviously the unloaded weapon to load it up and this is the musket now let's see what it's got it's got a very long range and a bayonet as well so you do damage by hitting stuff with this and let's just spawn a pig in and see how long range this is so we're just going to go back to here and see if it does kill it from here oh yes that is a very decent range. You can do some long range sniping. It's kind of like an old school sniper. It's very powerful and you can also do bayonet damage with it as well. So it does one tenth of the damage it does from a shot. So it's still pretty decent. Better than your fists anyway. So moving on and we've got the buffalo which is exactly the same as the musket but it doesn't have the bayonet but it has a huge range on it. So you're just going to need two gun barrels, a flintlock mechanism and an oak wood plank to make the buffalo gun and to charge it this takes two processes. So first up you're going to have to stuff it with paper, two gun powder and the unloaded gun and then you take the result from that and stuff it with two more gunpowder and a round shot so if that makes sense i'll just go over it again the first recipe you do is paper with two gunpowder then the resulting gun you put into the recipe with two round a round shot sorry and two gunpowder and that will give you the buffalo gun and it's just being stuffed with gunpowder right now so that you have enough firepower to fire it really long now this has a really long range i'm just going to put this pig right here and then fly over to the back and we should be able to kill this pig. Yes, I'm serious. This is the range on this thing. So here is the pig. There it is. I'm just going to zoom in with Optifine just to make sure I got its head. Oh my god, it didn't die. <laughs> Let's try that again. So I've got another one and I'm going to try it from this range here. So it should be able to hit. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. A real pro sniper hit. So that is pretty far from about here to where that dead grass is over there that is a pretty long shot and it killed it in one shot as well so that is really really awesome so we're going to put the buffalo away and we've got two more guns we've got the puckle gun which has 11 shots in it and it needs a mount so we're just going to see how to craft it first and you're going to need a lot of iron for this you're going to need two gun barrels a flintlock mechanism and two revolver cylinders just to make the gun and then you're going to need to pack it with two gunpowder and a round shot as well to make the puckle gun now this actually can't be shot so as you can see i can't shoot it at all right now and then you're going to need to have certain specifics which is this this is the mount so you're going to need five iron blocks all together you just need it in a cross kind of shape and then one underneath and then you can fire the puckle gun and this is very automatic so we'll check it out i'm just holding down the right click right now and it's shooting oh yes that is sweet it's a really powerful gun which does take it does take your ammo quite quickly but it is definitely worth it definitely worth the reload and the iron for it as well it will take out zombies in no time or anything you want to kill basically so up next is the bad boy of the guns it's the hand cannon cannonball cannonball so this is the guy that you need if you want to fire cannons from a gun. So what you're going to need is two large gun barrels, one flintlock mechanism, one oak wood plank, which will give you the empty hand cannon. And this one also has two separate reloading mechanics so first you're going to have to copy it with the paper and the two gunpowder then after that you can either just put a single cannonball in for a short range or you can put a cannonball and two gunpowder as well to make the longest range so this is loaded with the full load and the half load will just fire a bit shorter and we've got another showdown to have so this is our third and last showdown who's coming out it's rex he's wearing his apron he is the maid of this city so we're going to take him down and we've got it's on rex look at me buddy look, there we go it's on So I take my steps back. Three, two, one. Oh, damn. Rex. Rex. He's dead. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. So as you can see, that is the cannonball. And it has a very, very large radius. So, oh my god, I'm glitching out a little bit there. But as you can see, it has a massive blast radius. It's fairly accurate as well. And is a sweet 
sweet weapon. So those are all the guns in the mod, and I've just got one more thing to show you, because you can actually customize these things, which is really awesome. So in here, I have got some pistols, and for some reason, it only really works from the pistol upwards, so you can't use the makeshift pistol in this, and you can customize it with different things. We've got diamonds, we've got gold, we've got emerald, and we've got obsidian too. So if you take the pistol and the diamonds as well, and surround it with the diamonds, so if you go into the crafting table like this, put the pistol in, and then on each corner you do this, it will create a diamond pistol. Now, why would you want to do this, I hear you ask? Well, the diamond one will actually give you more durability, so every time you shoot with this, you won't lose as much durability as with just a normal pistol. If you add gold to it, you will prevent misfire, so you will never misfire, which I would definitely recommend doing, because misfiring is annoying and wastes your ammo. So we move on to Emerald as well, and that boosts your range, so you get a very long range weapon. Imagine using this with the Buffalo Gun. Craziness! And if you add Obsidian to it, you get a plus a little bit on all three, so you get a little bit more durability, a little bit less misfire, and it boosts your range a little bit too. So very cool, and you can't actually like mix and match these. So either decide what you want to boost completely, or you boost a little bit of all three, and I thought that was a really cool feature of the mod. And I think that is pretty much all this mod has to offer. It has a crazy amount of variations with all those customizations and different guns and it's just really awesome. I think it's really well made and one of the best gun mods I've reviewed so far. So if you do like what you see and want to play it for yourself, which I highly recommend, then please go into the description below to check it out and I'll also post the link for this amazing saloon map as well. It's really awesome and you can go and explore it. It's really sweet. So if you're also new to the channel and did enjoy this video and commentary, then please do hit that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos and for all of you, a like and a favourite would be greatly appreciated too. So thanks a lot for watching guys and from me it is goodbye!